Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment. Now one thing that most people can never get enough of on their utility vehicles is extra lights. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install the front brush guard work lights on this John Deere XUV 835M. Now keep in mind, these lights are gonna fit multiple models. The main thing that we're worried about is making sure we have the right wiring harness hooked up to our machine to do this install. So if you'll stick with me here, We'll get started. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and get down here in front of the machine, right below our grill and front brush guard and look up underneath in this opening here and see that we do have these two wiring harnesses here as these are going to be our hookups for our front brush guard lights now if you do not see these underneath your machine in this area you know you may look and see if they're zip tied to the frame somewhere or they may just not be there at all as these are a part of the front attachment wiring harness that fits on these john deere xuv 835s and 865s now if this is something that you don't have you will need to get that and install it before you can attach these front brush guard lights so if you need to get that or need to install it i'll put a link in the description below to a video of me doing the install of this harness and also a link in the description below where you can go to buy that harness directly from me but you do need this to do this install so from here guys let's go ahead and go check out the parts that come in the kit for those front brush guard lights and some tools that we're going to need to do the install. All right, so this kit is a pretty extensive kit, being as that these lights can be not only installed to the brush guard, but they can also be installed onto the roof, to the front or the back. So we have some extra parts here that we're not going to be using in this video, but they make sure to give you everything that you need so you can install this kit in those various different spots. So as we can see, we have our two LED work lights here. We're also going to have our mounting brackets here and various other hardware pieces that we're going to be able to use in different spots on the machine. It's also going to come with a packet of adhesive. This is not going to be used for your brush guard, but if you were installing it onto the roof you may need to use this we're also going to have a packet here of labels so depending on where these lights are going you can simply peel this off and put it around your switch once it's installed to make sure know which switch is going to which set of lights now we also have our instruction manual here this is going to be very important just in case we miss anything or if we are going to install these in a different spot we do have that and then of course we do have our switch there to activate those lights. Now, some of the tools we're gonna need for this install is a flathead screwdriver. This is gonna aid us in taking off the front dash panel so we can get behind it to install our switch. We're also gonna need a 13 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, our ratchet, and an extension may be a good idea as it's a little tough to reach some of those spots. So make sure to have that handy. And then you're also going to need that four millimeter Allen head wrench. So this is what we'll use to install the bracket to our lights. So now guys, first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and put our bracket onto these lights. What we're gonna use is one of our brackets here on each light. We're going to simply add that onto the light here as we do have a hole going through where we can do our install. We'll take one of our bolts here and slide it through. Just like that. And then we will take one of our washers here and one of our nuts and we'll just start that nut on there just like that. Now you want these fairly stiff, but you may leave it loose just a little bit so you can decide which angle you want these at, whether you want them straight out, maybe you want them pointing up a little bit or down a little more towards the ground. But we just wanna go ahead and install both of these brackets on these lights. And then from here, we can go ahead and start removing our front dash panel and putting our switch in. 
All right, so our next step is going to be removing this front dash panel so we can get back behind and find the right plug for our switch here. So what we have is we have two of these pop out, pop out clips here. That's why we have our flathead screwdriver to take those loose. And then you're also gonna have two just right directly underneath where these two are on top here. We'll need to remove all four of those so we can get this front panel off. So I'm just gonna take my screwdriver here, go underneath that top button, kind of wiggle that loose once you get that loose and the pressure's released then we can just simply pop that out same thing over here on the other side wiggled up and out there and then just pop that out like that and then same thing underneath here one on this side all right and then once you have all four of those loose we're just going to pop this front panel off here. Now there's a couple of clips on each side that are holding this in. Just want to get those loose on both sides, just pulling out gently or trying to pull it out gently. And then right back behind here, you're gonna have a bunch of different plugs here, but on this front attachment wiring harness, the one that we're looking for is this blue plug here that has this light switch. This one correlates with our front two attachments or front two connections there for those brush guard lights. So once we have this found, now we can pick which one of these pop outs we want these lights on. Probably gonna want it closest to us so we can reach it easier. So we're just gonna reach behind here and pop out this pop out here. So now we have an open hole there. And then we wanna look at where our terminals are as opposed to where they are on our switch. So we wanna have this right side up like that. So then we'll flip our connection over. That way our terminals and our terminals on our switch match up. Then we'll just simply take this, push it through the hole there in our panel, just like that. And then once we have it pushed through here, we'll take our switch and line that up, push that in until it seats firmly on that plug and you hear it click. And then from there, we'll just push the switch in until it clicks into our front panel, just like that. And now we have our switch installed. All we need to do is go back on with our panel, make sure everything lines up, make sure everything's smooth and fits just like that. And then we'll go back in with our push clips, back in like that and then push it down. Same thing on the other side, just like that and then fit our two at the bottom. All right, and then once you have this all back together, it's time to move to the front and install our lights. All right, so now we're ready to go on with our lights. Here we're going to need our carriage head bolt, the larger nut, and the larger washer. And you're gonna want both sets as we're gonna be mounting to these two top tabs here on our brush guard. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just take one of these lights we will run that carriage head bolt down through the bracket. Now notice that bracket has a square hole in it, but it's also got room for this to wiggle. So you can either separate or make these lights go closer together. So once we have that, we'll just simply run that down through our first hole there. We'll take our washer, <clears throat> go on underneath, and then we will start that nut. And then this is where our 13 millimeter socket is gonna come in handy. All right, and then once we have that solid there, we'll run this down and make our connection, just like that. And then we'll do the same thing here for the other side. And then once we have that tight there, make your adjustments where you want them to point at. Run your harness down, 
make your connection and that's it guys so from here we'll go ahead and hop in the cab see if they work well they definitely work looking good i'm going to go ahead and run turn these lights off So there's with them on, turn them off, go back on. Man, I can just tell you from looking back here, they definitely work great. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's the full installation instructions for the front brush guard attachment LED work lights on a John Deere XUV 835M. Now, like I said, keep in mind that these work lights are also compatible to multiple different places within your machine and on your machine, whether it be on the roof, facing forward or the rear or here in your brush guard. But guys, the main thing here is it's just wanted to show you how easy it is to do this install. It's very, very simple, does not take long at all. The main thing, like I said in the beginning that we need to make sure of is that we do have that front attachment harness if we're gonna be hooking these to the brush guard. So like I said, if you have one of these machines, you're not sure if you have that, go ahead and check underneath and look for that extra wiring like I was talking about. Look for these connections. And if you don't have it, remember that in the description below, I'm gonna put a uh, link to where you can go to the video of that, the installation of that wiring harness, and also a link in the description where you can get that wiring harness if you need it. And also guys, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get this kit here. It's gonna be part number BM26216. So make sure to check that out if you think this is a kit that you need for your machine. And also guys, if you like this video, if this video helped you out, we just ask that you'd please hit that like button and give us a subscribe as that helps us out as well. And also guys, after watching this, if you feel like I left anything out or you have any other questions or comments, make sure to leave those in the comments section below so I can get back to you. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and go buy your parts at west-equip.com slash parts.